Okay, the last thing I got is the best. <laughs> of the epic garage sale haul oh gosh okay so in this haul I'm gonna be showing you everything that I got on Friday almost every single thing that you are gonna see with the exception of maybe two or three things all vintage okay so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna to try to go quick because it is I don't know 1230 and I'm starving I needed some lunch all right so here we go um, a lot of this stuff is a combination of when I went to garage sales on Friday and I also went to the thrift store and I went to uh, the Goodwill <laughs> so I've got some a few things from all three different places so I've got something really awesome but I'm gonna save it for the end y'all gonna die okay I'll go ahead and start with this I picked up this lamp and let me get the cord unwrapped so you can see what it looks like Mm. okay this is what it looks like she had marked on there that this was an antelope lamp um, I guess that's what that is I don't know if it's an antelope or a deer or... they're in really good shape with the exception there is one small little kind of chip crack right there but I think they're amazing and it's got this little kind of pocket right here I don't know if that's for like if you put a plant in there or if you put like change or I'm not sure what you put in there but anyway definitely vintage um, I paid 15 for the pair so I have two of these she had shades with them but I didn't like the shades she had with them so I'm gonna try to find new shades so anyway there's that I didn't get a whole lot at that garage sale because she was kind of high um, I got these two vintage planters I got this one it's got gold around it it's dirty I need to clean it up but paid a dollar for that and then I got this one <clears throat> these are in good condition no chips or cracks uh, she had three on that but it was on a table where everything was a dollar so I paid a dollar for that I got one of these swung glass faces had one of these once before in blue and I sold it uh, so I thought I'd pick this one up and give it a try. It's got kind of like a thumbprint around the bottom. And then just like that. I thought it was really pretty. Paid a dollar for that. At that same garage sale, I got this. And I don't know about this. It's a vintage mantle clock. And the brand is uh, Seth Thomas. I looked these up. And some of them can go for pretty good money this is not in the best of shape and it does not work so the reason I picked it up is because I thought I might be able to sell it for parts um, but I paid five for that might have overpaid for it but I don't know okay that's the only two things I got at that garage sale then I went to the uh, news guy's house I love his garage sales he has the best sales these new pomegranate tablecloths never been used that one uh, this one here is a 68 inch round and then uh, they're matching this one is a 60 by 90 got both of those for two dollars so a dollar each that's great that they're brand new um, at the same sale the news guys sale um, I got this um, <sighs> oh my gosh my brain um, these <laughs> placemats uh, vintage placemats very very pretty pay three dollars for the set there's four and then it has the napkins that go with them so I thought that was really pretty and well worth three dollars let's see what else did I get at his sale is that it oh no I got this uh, this is and you all have seen me haul these before this is a it's like a little mini per, actually I think it's like a um, like a makeup bag this is a Spartina makeup bag because the bottom unzips and it's got these little kind of 
you know, compartments in there, I guess, for like your um, eyeliners and stuff. So pick that up for a dollar. We'll have to wait and see how that does. This, these do, can do pretty good. I got these Linux candle holders. Really, really pretty uh, in really good condition. No chips or cracks. I paid $1.99 each for those, so $4 for the set. Not sure if that was very good, um, but, you know, we'll kind of wait and see. I thought those might do good either around Christmas time or maybe in the spring uh, if somebody wanted to get those for, like, a wedding or a reception or something like that. So, I got this. This is a Copeland, Copeland, England, a vintage gravy boat, and the... Uh, Let's see. It looks like Spode's Regal. I don't know. But anyway, this is what the pattern looks like. Paid 99 cents for that and 59 cents for this. And it's got the underplate that goes with it. And they, that gravy boat and this other pattern I'm getting ready to show you, they had just brought that out in a cart. And so I was like, hmm, wonder what that is. This is Coalport Made in England. And it is Bone China. And uh, the pattern is called Pageant. And it is a sugar bowl. Just like, looks like that. Um, I paid 99 cents for the sugar bowl. And then I also got um, cups and saucers. I got four cups with four saucers. All in great condition. No chips or cracks. Um, so... I looked those up and looks like that they sell for pretty good. So I was glad to find that. Then I picked up this coffee grinder. It's Zazen House. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Zazen House. And it's in really good condition. There's one little tiny nick right there on the corner of the drawer. But uh, just a coffee grinder. <laughs> and I think I saw... I'm not sure if it was the same brand, but Courtney over at Common Tags, she had picked up a coffee grinder, and it actually sold for pretty good money. I, like I said, I can't remember if it's the same brand or not, but we'll see how this how this sells. Um, I paid $3.99 for that, so hopefully it'll do good. I got this vintage pipe planter. <laughs> um, I thought it was kind of cool. I've never seen a pipe planter. Um, paid $1.59 for that, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's dirty. I need to clean it up. I also got this refrigerator dish, vintage, um, and it has the lid, so I was super excited about that. Um, a lot of times when you find these, they don't have the lid, so, uh, and it's in perfect condition. Well, no, I'm sorry, not in perfect. There's one little tiny place. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's not bad. I mean, outside of that, it's in great condition. And I paid $1.99 for that. I got this little um, snow woman. And she's a little candle holder, vintage. I thought she was really cute. I um, think I paid like maybe 50 cents or a dollar for her. And then I got this Hummel. And it's got Goebel... Uh, Germany on the bottom and then it's marked right here too This um, I paid five for this. She knew what she had when she priced this to me um, I didn't look it up because I was the only one at the sale and you know I just felt weird looking it up with her standing right there. So I've, I've looked this up. This is called uh, not for you and Some of them it looks like are going for pretty good and some of them meh so, we'll have to wait and see how that does. I got a purse. <laughs> okay. This is a vintage, or not vintage. This is a authentic coach. Um, it is from the uh, factory store. So, it is real, but it's not from, like, the retail. It's from the factory store. But anyway, I thought it was really pretty. Um, it's got this orange stripe down the front. And it's got these um, straps on the side. The inside of it is orange and... There is a little bit of staining in the bottom, <clears throat> um, but I'm going to try to clean that up, and that'll be good as new. If 
<clears throat> anyone is interested in this or if you're interested in anything that I ever you know have in my haul videos please feel free to contact me um, a lot of times I'm very slow eBay lister so a lot of times I won't even have stuff up on eBay by the time you contact me if it is I'll let you know though you have to go to eBay and buy it but anyway there's that got a few things these are oh, I got these at the thrift store okay I got this Holly Hobby um, little oven mitt in really good condition. I don't even know if that thing's been used. And then I got this, and I paid 50, 50 cents for this because I wanted this recipe. <laughs> it's a pot holder, but it's um, New Orleans Prawlins. And if you all have never had these, oh my gosh, they are so good. But it's got the recipe on them for, there, for them on there, so got that. And then I got a few little cute little stuffed animals for my baby baskets in really good condition. And then I got some vintage tablecloths. Uh, this one here I thought was really pretty. And the tablecloths appear to be um, in pretty good condition with the exception of this one has like a little kind of tear right there. I'm not sure what I can do about that but um, they do have a little bit of staining but as you all saw in the last uh, episode where I had gotten that tablecloth had staining, I'll throw these in with that and hopefully get the stains out. This one here, I'm not sure how old this is, but I've never seen a vintage tablecloth just black and white. And it's got some kind of bad staining on it right there and over here. But it's black and white and just grapes, like a, like a grape pattern. I thought that was kind of different. Like I said, I've never seen one just black and white. And then I got this one that has kind of a Mexican theme on it, just like that. Very cute. The tablecloths, I think, at the thrift store are like a dollar. Okay, the last thing I got is the best. <laughs> yes. It's a cast iron pig head. <laughs> I paid $1.50 for that. If you all do not know about these, if you are ever out and they have a good price on these, pick it up. These sell for really, really good money. And I'm talking good money on eBay. There's some listed for over $100 for these. He's in good condition. There is um, some little spots of like I guess where he's been sitting, sometimes if cast iron sets, it'll get little, like little rust spots. But um, a quick little cleanup with a little scrubby on that to kind of, you know, get that off of there. And then um, a little bit of vegetable oil on there will shine him right up and he'll be good as new. So this was probably the best find, I think probably in all three episodes was this right here. <laughs> because I'm going to, I'll do good with this. So, that is it. That is it. <laughs> that was a lot to break into three episodes. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys another day. Bye.